everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm doing your second week of December reading start from the 8th through the 14th of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. Let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards and massage cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's start the reading. Let's find out what is heading towards you guys for this week time, which has already started. Let's begin. Temperance. Uh, sorry, Judgment. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Four of Swords. You're definitely thinking about you know uh, two different people here or maybe you you um there is somebody in your life who is thinking about two different people if not two people then it's um then it's more of that energy where you know some uh maybe it's two people with the five of souls and read that as well uh let's see hold on uh, I, will, I, will, I will reconfirm that message with the clarifier but I feel like you know um, or maybe it's just that you know somebody has uh, you know it's 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 it, you know maybe it's you maybe it's the energy of the person that you are dealing with but somebody is really wishing and hoping for something good to happen um, it's it's more like you know where you um, where you know that um, it's, it's more like, you know, you know a person as a friend, you know that they are good. And then when you see them as a, as a life partner, you feel like, hey, maybe I don't know this person. So it's that kind of energy maybe for some of you. If it's not two different people, then maybe it's just, you know, uh, you thinking about two different aspects of a relationship that you can have with a specific someone. Um, can, you, can they be good as a husband or can they be good as a wife or not? Or are they good enough just to be friends with? So maybe you are thinking about those two, you know, uh, aspects of a same person. Or if not, then you are thinking about two different options uh, during this time. Where you are thinking like, you know, they, they are, uh, you know, there is this one person that you are dealing with. And then there is another person that you think that, you know, your ideal person should be like that. So basically, it's going to be the time when you have to basically make a decision around both of those situations. Either it's a you know same person with different uh, you know aspects of uh, them is what you are kind of you know trying to make up your mind about. If not, then there are two different people that you are trying to make up your mind about. Uh, one is somebody who is very um, talkative, somebody who is very uh, uh, straightforward, and the other is very practical. You know, somebody who who believes in going with the with the some sort of you know some somebody who is very stable in their life. And they know how to manipulate and stuff like that. So it can be energy of the same person as well. But I feel like you know there there is that uh, you know situation. Maybe you're considering that you know since this person is like you know very straightforward. Do you think like you know uh, this person could be a better husband to be uh, to be having in your life? Uh, would that you know person make a good husband, good wife? Um, can they can they be practical more than you know what they what they talk 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 all about? So maybe it's just that uh, for some of you. But yes, I do see you uh, thinking a lot about it during this time. And um, for others of you, maybe you are dealing with two different people and you are just uh, trying to make up your decision about, you know, uh, both of them. But if, if you are dealing with two di different people, I feel like, you know, maybe um, in that situation, um, you are already with the, uh, with one of them. You know, if, if it is two uh, different people, then definitely you are with the one and then you are thinking about the other. When it comes to the one that you have, you you don't like them. You are thinking and waiting for the other one who is not there, who is not ready to give you whatever you want. So either way, I do see you blocked. I do see you um, unstable mentally. Why? Because you, you don't know what to do, what to choose, how to make up your mind around the situation uh, that you have in your in your life right now. And maybe that's the reason why you would be asking, seeking help and guidance from the universe. Because you would really like to have some sort of a movement forward in your life where you know what you want to do, how you should be taking forward, you know, steps towards what you want. 
um, and you really want to, you know, um, be clear in your head that this is the right path and so you could pursue it with all your heart into it. But somehow the clarity is not coming here. You are going to be thinking about, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, what you have is something that you don't want or you, then, or you don't like. And then what you want is something which is not there. So it's, um, it's going to be that kind of a time for you uh, where you have to basically um, make a decision about, you know, about this one person with two different aspects to them or if not, then two different persons and you have to choose either one of them. And um, because you cannot go like this all your life where you are indecisive, who you, who do you want um, and um, how you want this connection to be like in future. So I feel like, you know, the waiting period will be over soon. You will have to make a decision this week time and the energies could be reversed. Maybe it's the energy of the person that you are dealing with in that situation too. It's high time that the decision is made this time around. No matter whatever the scenario is, one thing has to end to start a new thing. If you are, you know, friends and you want to get married, the friendship is going to completely get over, and then you're gonna start new, uh, start a new as as a, as a couple. If it is you choosing the new person, leaving the current person that you uh, have, then too you will have to leave the current person, and then you could take the new person. Now, when it comes to the person that you are waiting for and then you the, the one that you have, you have to let go of the person that you are waiting for and to start anew with the current person as well. So either way, you have to make a decision which is not going to be easy to be true, um, uh, to, uh, to be true, uh, to be honest with you. And it's, it's, it's going to be like a tough decision to make for you. Uh, you are going to have a lot of sleepless nights before you make that decision during this time, during this week time. But I do see you making a decision coming out of this week with a with clarity around that situation. You will be uh, making a decision about your love life this week time. Only the deck you do have five of swords. If it is your person's energy, they are going to be choosing you. If it's you, your energy, then I feel like you, know, you will be choosing what your heart is asking you to go for. Um, because I do see emotional fulfillment there, but um, maybe you will have to wait. Um, I feel like, you know, if, if you are choosing the one who is not available right now, then you will have to wait to have your manifestation. But definitely you are making the decision there. You know, be that somebody new, be that somebody from the past, be that a specific one that you are waiting for. But definitely you are definitely making a choice in your love life in this week time regarding a specific someone um, that you want to spend the rest of your life with because you are going to have emotional fulfillment after taking this very big step of your life, very big decision of your life. But um, if, if it is somebody from the past who is not in your life right now, maybe, um, you know, maybe they are not ready to give into this connection or something around those lines, then I feel like, you know, you will have to wait. Um, but if it is, you know, a person that, that is already in your life and you give them a chance and that's how you want to start anew with that one person, then it's going to be the beautiful uh, beginning for the you know, for the two of you as well. Let's see more cards here. on yep i feel like you know for a majority of you you are going to choose the person who is available to you because if you are going to choose the person who is uh who, who you want to be with uh that person is going to put you on hold put you on wait again so maybe you don't want to do that to yourself this time around maybe you have done that in the past but this time you don't want that so maybe you would like to end the situation uh and start anew with the one who is available to give you all that you want who who also has feelings for you maybe you don't have feelings for this person but they have feelings for you as well so um 
for some of you like very few of you maybe you are going to be uh rekindling the connection with the one that you are with because the person that you wanted maybe you are going to reach out to them and then you know you're going to talk to them and they are going to have their guards up still for you so which is going to make you feel like you know it's it's better to 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 uh you know work on the partnership that i have currently with the specific someone so that could be the case for some of you as well if that happens to um you know it, it's going to be good for the two of you because i feel like you know in this situation um after you have talked to the person that you want or that you are interested in i feel like you know after getting a clarity from that person it's going to be very easy to invest your time and energy into current partnership that you have with a specific someone maybe earlier you were kind of confused shall i move on shall i stick to this person and give and invest in this person's uh, you know uh, connection and as you get a note from the other person i feel like you know you will be able to invest your time and energy into this one person that you are dealing with currently so um and uh, you know that too is going to be you know giving a fresh new beginning to this connection that you have with them so i feel like you know it's going to be different for different people but yes i do see that this decision has to be made for majority of you i feel like you know you are choosing the one who has love for you um and it could be the person that you already are uh, dealing with and for others of you <clears throat> maybe you are going to choose to wait on for the person that you love hold on Yep, so let's take some oracle cards here. Let's see what it has to add to the reading. Choose love. Uh, you always have a choice. Make yours with love. I feel like you know you, the angels really want you to choose love. The one who loves you, choose that one person. Because otherwise, you will be putting yourself in the wrong direction again. In the wrong cycle again. So don't do that. Choose the one who is ready to love you, to uh, to embrace you and the connection the way it is without uh, you know um putting you on hold um medicine mother honor your inner knowing and i feel like in deep down you also know that this is something um you have been not putting your effort into and you could make it work it's just that you have been pulling yourself away from this person for you know on purpose and now it's it's the, it's the calling that you are having from you know the universe is basically guiding you to choose the one that you love uh, that loves you and um not the one that that has been putting you on hold or on wait for for long so bring love in the situation aquarius time could be lucky for you as well um your birth uh your birthday time could be lucky for you in in regards to this uh, this uh, decision that you will have to make around your love life maybe you will be reconciling starting a new getting married to each other um if if, if you are not married yet and you are just in a relationship maybe that's gonna happen in in uh, the in, in your birthday month go outside get some fresh air and connect with the nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas the more you spend time in the nature it's going to help you guide you through the right path which can help you right now in the current circumstances that you are dealing with and it will help you to make the right decision for yourself when it comes to your love life as well let's see the message cards now let's see what the messages are for you from your person <clears throat> Let's take cards from this also. Okay. Okay, let's start with these ones. I feel stuck. My life sucks. I feel like you know this is the person that you love, not the one that uh you know loves you. I feel like you know your person is stuck, they cannot give you anything, so you need to move on. Choose the one who is ready. People in my life are controlling me, so they cannot make a comeback in your life. This is these are the messages from the person that you that you want to be with. Maybe, um, I love my kids more than anything. Maybe they are already married and they are stuck in a situation where they cannot leave their kids and they have to be in that marriage. I'm not ready for commitment. So yeah, if you want to wait on for them, it's gonna be forever. You know, just just move on. Your your person is like, you know, that's they are screaming to you right now. Cancer Leo could be the signs of the people that you are dealing with. Uh, happiness is the key. Divinely protected. Kissings and hugs and love. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, whoever it is that may, you know, these are the messages of the person who cannot give you much right now. So it's your time to move on to the one who is ready to give you all that you want. And you're, you know, you, you giving your all into that new connection or a rekindling of the past connection with the specific someone that you are married to maybe. 
that will bring you the happiness that you want because i feel like you know you have been holding yourself back because of this one person that you thought that would you know you would uh, reconcile with or you would be with forever but it's not going to happen so you have i do see you uh, giving your 100% to the connection that was always available because there is love coming from this other person so i feel like you know that connection that you have with that other person who loves you is divinely protected um you are you know they really want to love you hold you and kiss you as well but maybe you were too stuck on this person that you never acknowledge their present in presence in your life at, uh, at all because uh, you were so caught up with the with the energy of uh, this person so you always neglected the love of the person that uh, that you are with maybe currently or if not then this is somebody that has been there for for you forever this is somebody that you know already maybe a friend or something or somebody you know that you know um for quite some time already so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye